Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Etc. I'm here today to bring the review for One Piece episode 849. This episode was about Pedro's backstory. We explore Pedro. We find out his inspirations to becoming a pirate. Why he was so adamant about not staying the last time he came to Whole Cake Island and find it out um, that he sees this new dawn that Gold Roger was telling him about within Luffy explaining why. So this all explains why he's willing to blow himself up enabling them to escape at the very end or trying to help them escape at the very end of the episode. This takes up the majority of the episode as as you as you've seen. But with also within the episode we have them arriving to the Sunny because they arrived last episode, so they arrived at the Sunny. They are on board the Sunny. They have a plan to try and escape Kirkley Burst, Kirkley Burst, I should say. But despite arriving on the Sunny, despite getting on board, Luffy is having trouble taking on Katakuri. They, Big Mouth Pirates, have plans to surround them from the other sides and to make matters even worse. They can't use a Coop the Burst right now simply because. The candy man <laughs> who had a part of Pedro later on cases the sunny within some candy so they cannot escape. So yeah, I've just summed up the episode nice and quickly, but I just want to talk about a few things involving Pedro as a character, blowing himself up. Is he dead? Who knows? Because there have been characters within One Piece who have survived far worse. But I just want to talk about the fact, let's just say, let's just say he's dead. When this happened within the manga, I mentioned within my review that if he's dead, it's like, mm, I, don't, I don't care. And I simply said, I don't care because Pedro, he doesn't get a lot of screen time between Zhao and this episode or manga chapter, or whichever one you want to call it, whichever way you want to um, view it, I should say. So, for me personally, because he didn't have enough screen time, this character didn't have enough time to grow on me, and because of that, he won't be missed by me. However, having relived these moments within the anime, I don't know if it's because I'm reliving it, I don't know if it's because I'm now viewing it rather than reading it, so therefore... The emo more, there's more emotion there via the background music, via the voice actors giving it the all in the performance. But it's because, um, yeah, so reliving it, viewing it rather than reading it, background music and all that, and the voice actors just having other senses involved within the experience. I don't know if it's because of that. I don't know what, which one it ties into, but seeing it again today, I did feel for him more than I did when I was reading it within the manga, but I still, I care more, but it hasn't reached the level of care, <laughs> if that makes sense. And yeah, that's everything I've got to say, so like always guys, go give it a rating first, obviously, so, um... Yeah, I'll give it a three, a three star rating, and that's simply because of all the Pedro stuff, really, you know, deep in the character and all that, character development and all that. I still think pacing is slow. I think I'm pretty sure that more time was spent on Pedro's flashback within the anime than it was within the manga, so therefore pacing is an issue. But yeah, um, yes, therefore pacing is an issue, but however, because it had a a main focus which was Pedro which I think an episode which I think the episode should have focused on I'm willing to give the pace and the benefit of doubt and simply judge it on what I think the episode should have been which was Pedro so free star rating and call it with you like always guys I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions if you haven't already please subscribe to my YouTube channel but most importantly take care have a nice day